And then here is the little lamb. And the little lamb fits into my hand. It's really tiny and it's really soft. In the other book, you have One Spring Lamb by Ann Fitter Kennedy. The yarn that I used for this project is Red Heart Buttercup and the color is white. The other equivalent yarn that you could use is the Bernat Pipsqueak yarn and this also is a whitey white color. The yarn that I used is by Yarn Bee Effervesce and the color is Biscuit. The eyes that I used are by Darice Solid Black Eyes, the 12 millimeter. I use the Doris Black Nose 18 millimeter safety nose and safety eyes. Also I used two light pink buttons for the cheeks and I just sewed them on with regular sewing needle and thread. The crochet hooks that I use is my J or 6 millimeter crochet hook as well as my F or 4 millimeter crochet hook and I also used a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So here I have the two yarns side by side. This one is the Pipsqueak yarn and then this one is the Red Heart yarn and they're very similar. The only difference that I noticed is the thread that runs right in the center of the yarn. The one on the Red Heart breaks easier so I'm going to show you a different method. Sometimes I'll use the magic circle with the Pipsqueak one and I don't have too much problem doing that but I'm going to show you with the Red Heart yarn an alternative way to use it. The first thing you're going to do is take your Red Heart yarn, the white fluffy yarn, and fold it over on itself to form a loop. Then you're going to take your J or 6 millimeter crochet hook and go right down the center and then hold the bottom of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then don't make your loops too tight. It's okay to leave them a little bit loose. You're going to make a chain of two. One, two. Then you're going to go back into your first chain with your crochet hook and you're going to make six single crochet into that stitch. So you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. You're going to go back in the same stitch and you're going to put six single crochet into that same stitch. So it's an alternative way if you can't use the magic circle. The only difference with this method is sometimes closing the magic circle it's difficult. I like the magic circle better for that. But for this case, you're not even going to notice it because it's so fluffy. And some people have a difficult time with this yarn because of that. But then, once you finish your six single crochet into that magic circle, then you're going to go into that first stitch. And you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're just going to have to work without being really able to see the stitches very well and just go into each stitch and you're just going to keep putting two single crochet into every stitch and you're going to keep getting larger and larger until you have the size that you want for your little lamb. So you just keep putting two single crochet into every stitch. And you just keep getting larger and larger as you go until you have the size that you want and then come back. When you start getting a little bit of a cup then you can turn the work inside out and then you just keep going into every stitch making two single crochet into every stitch all around the little cup creating a larger and larger cup as you work. Now you can see how it progressively gets larger and larger as you work, or work around. So what you're going to do now is just set this aside for a minute. We're going to make the face of the lamb. So now you're going to get your effervesce, the biscuit colored yarn, 
or the face, whatever color you want for the face of your lamb. And then you're just going to fold the loop over on itself to form a loop. Then take your crochet hook, and I'm using my F for 4 millimeter crochet hook. Go right through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make a chain of eight. One, two, three, four. So I have my chain of eight. Then you're going to make a chain of one. Go into the second chain from the hook. Bring up a loop. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch back across. But in the last stitch, you're going to make three single crochet into the same stitch in the last stitch only, working behind your loose yarn end, and then come back. I just finished three single crochet in my last stitch. Now you're going to work on the opposite side. So we just made our single crochet into every stitch across. Now we're going to work in the opposite side and work in rounds. You're going to make one single crochet into every stitch on the opposite side except for the very last stitch. You're going to put three single crochet into your last stitch and then come back. This is how your work should look so far. Then you're going to take your yarn marker and place it right into the stitch before your first stitch that you made. So far I have 19 stitches around. Now I'm going to make one single crochet into every stitch until the end. So it's one single crochet into nine stitches and then come back. Now, I have the one stitch on the end. I'm going to make two single crochet into that stitch on the end. Then, you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch except for the last stitch before the yarn marker. You're going to put two single crochet into the same stitch and then come back. So I just finished 21 stitches. Now I'm going to move my yarn marker up. And then you're going to make one single crochet into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 stitches. So one single crochet into 8 stitches and then come back. Then you should have the two stitches on the end. You're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch for each of those two stitches. Then you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch, but leave the last two stitches. You're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch for the last two stitches and then come back. Then you're going to take your yarn marker out because we're done. You're going to take your yarn, your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over. You're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to finish off. You're just going to yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the face onto the lamb. The first thing you're going to do is place the nose right into the center and then put the safety latch onto the back. Then you're going to place the two safety eyes just like I have mine placed. On the back you can see how the safety latches hold it in place. And once you put them on they don't come off. This is how mine looks after sewing the cheeks on. Then you just place the lamb's face right onto the crochet work and then you're just going to sew right along the outer edge with your tapestry needle. 
and just sew the face in place. Oh, now you can go back to where you left off. Just take your yarn marker, kind of keeps track of how many rounds that you've made. Then you're just going to try your best to go in and make only one single crochet into every stitch around. Now if you notice it's shrinking and you want it a little, a little poofier, then you'll just add two stitches into the same stitch wherever you need to. But now you're just making the body so you can just make a single crochet into every stitch until you have the size that you want for your little lamb. So this is how mine's looking and it's just really turning out really cute and it's really soft and it looks like I finished about four rounds and I, I hope that you won't be too intimidated by this yarn because actually I mean it's not um, too difficult once you start working with it to actually really work with it some people are intimidated by it now after you finish the four rounds or whatever rounds you want for the size of yours you just put some craft stuffing or pillow stuffing into your project and then you're just going to make decrease stitches. So you're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook. Go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch. And you're just going to keep decreasing until you're almost closed and then come back and I'll show you how I completely close close mine. So decrease stitches all the way around and you keep going until you're almost closed and then come back. Now when you get to the point where you're almost closed, take your yarn and put it to the side and then you're going to skip a stitch and then go into the next stitch or where you're imagining it because it's very difficult to see. Then you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And you're just going to do that all the way around until you are completely closed. So mine is almost closed. One more should do it. And then once it's closed, you just finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Then you just take your tapestry needle, put it onto the end, then you're going to take and go right in where you tied your knot. Make sure it's completely closed. If not, you can just kind of go in and close whatever gaps that are there. And then you just take your yarn, go out anywhere on the body and then just cut the loose yarn end and then you have your cute lamb so we're going to make the feet now now I'm going to show you how to make the legs and the ears you're going to you're going to love how easy I made it so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with a magic circle we're going to start with the foot we're going to need four of these I made them all exactly the same way but you just take your yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to take your J or six millimeter crochet hook, go under those two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over, go through that loop for your slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and hold the base of those six single crochet and then you're going to have those two loops on the opposite side. You're just going to take one and close it. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one. This one's closing. Then you take and pull on the loose yarn end. Then if you need a yarn marker you can use it, but I'm just going to make the rounds without it. 
you just make one single crochet into every stitch for three rounds and then come back. So one single crochet into every stitch for three rounds and then come back. After you finish your three rounds, you can turn it inside out because you're going to tuck your loose yarn end into the center. And if you want, you could put a little craft stuffing in there, but I just tucked my loose yarn end in, into the center and that was enough. Then you're going to take and you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch over. Yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to finish off and that's it. You're going to need four of these. Leave a long enough yarn end for sewing. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle and put it onto that long yarn end that you left for sewing. Then you're going to take your cute little lamb and you can see how I've already made the other three. And then you're just going to place it in line with the others and then you're just going to sew it in place. Now you have your feet in place. Look how adorable it's looking. Then I'm going to show you how to make the ears and you're just going to be amazed at how easy I made the ears also. You're going to start the same way that you did for the feet. So you're going to make your magic circle and you're going to take the J crochet hook still you're going to bring up a loop for your slip knot, just like you did the feet. And you're going to put six single crochet into the magic circle, the same exact way as the feet. And then you're going to close it the same way. Then you're just going to finish off. So just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the ear onto the project. Then you're just going to take and tie a knot between the loose yarn end from the magic circle and the long end that you left for sewing. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle and put it onto the longest end that you have for sewing. Then you're going to take the ear, just pinch it together, place it where you want onto the lamb. I'm going to put mine about right there and then you just sew the base of it. So go ahead and line it up and then you're just going to sew right into the head and just into the base of the stitches and then come back. Then you have your little cute little lamb. This is just a close-up of the lamb that we're going to make. See how it has a very soft body with the yarn that I used and the feet on the bottom and the face and the ears and it stands up. 